hustle nigga big shit Big shit, big shit, big shit huh. Name another podcast like this Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk We gon' do it how you want it Boss talk Get yeah, everybody on it Boss talk It's a unique hustle Check it, check it, check it It's a unique hustle It's your boy ECEO And I'm here with the lovely Amazing official Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, madam. Man, hey, man, we got a special guest here today, man. This guy here don't need no introduction, man. Y'all been seeing him. Y'all done seen him a, a, a few times, man. A, a, some bangers, man. I've been checking them out, too, man. Went down that rabbit hole to find out who this guy was. Really found him before he found me, for sure, man. Hey, man. <laughs> My boy Ty Harris is in the building. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Hey, man, good to see you, man. Good to have you on the show. All good, all good. Man. man. So uh, yeah, yeah, you 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 do a lot of things, man. Yeah. I mean, hey, that piano game is serious too. Yeah, man, that's starting to become one of my things that we do. You oh know, I man, I get up there and I start doing all kind of classic Dallas hits. I'm, I'm probably try to expand or some. Okay, you know, okay. Texas, Houston. I might go to Houston a little mm. bit on the piano. <laughs> I, might do, I might go back there. Like we gonna see. We gonna hey. see. Have you always done that as a child growing up? Uh, you know, not really. But How old were you when you started? I've really been doing this seriously on the piano for about six months. Six months. <laughs> like, see, but, -uh. but I'm gonna tell but, you okay, though, like, that's as, seriously. But when did you first like like touch, see a, touch a piano? Touch a piano. I mean, of course, like church. You know, you go to church and you see like your uncle, brother Franklin, on the organ, and then you mm -hmm. go over there and touch it, and then you know whatever. I think the first thing I really like learned how to do was probably like the Halloween theme song. But it's like oh, okay. it's like three notes. You know what I'm saying? And how old were you? Uh, I can't. I don't even know. But like seriously doing this piano stuff, mm -hmm. about six months for sure. I used to hit that thing. Do no 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 no. Oh, no, no. The, the, <laughs> that's yeah. all I got. That's, that's what I. That's, that's what Beethoven. I got. That's, but, that's, but see, I've always liked like classical music. I yeah. always like different kind of music. So you know, I guess the kind of musicality just come natural. Kind Where of. Where did you get it from? Did it like trickle down from like your mom, your dad? Uh, probably like, my family. My family like they musically inclined. It, you really? know what I'm saying? But not like not playing the, like instruments and stuff nobody think, else in your family played instruments uh my uncle he like i said my uncle he married into the family mm -hmm. he was on that organ at church okay. and then you know but my papa they was singing quartet you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying uh that's about it my brother he was a music producer my daddy okay, so you know, it's, it's in the blood yeah it's yeah in I'm, the blood. I'm musically inclined you know right. but as far as niggas just walking in and just playing nah, yeah so let's go back a little bit uh let's get you and old cliff yes sir born and raised yes sir what um what part is you in over there? Red Bird and Hampton. Red Bird and Hampton. My yeah. side of sixty seven. Yo, Red Bird. Good Hampton. side, Oakland. Mm -hmm. I like that, that's side. Fat, I pimp, the fat pimp over on that side. Fat pimp, uh, Camp Wisdom. Okay, fat yeah, pimp yeah, Camp yeah. Wisdom and Poke Baby. Though. Yeah, we, yeah, but it's yeah. all two, three, two. You know, okay. C Strugs over there under. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 man, yeah. man. man. R.I.P. C Strugs, yeah, man. That, that was my dog, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I loved his flow, man. It's another cat I'm listening to now. Kind of remind me of his flow. I don't know the big dude name. He out of Pleasant Grove. Out of Pleasant Grove. Oh, yeah, that okay. nigga. Don't, yeah. don't let me get into no lies. I ain't for the live, but it, my my son showed him to me yesterday. What's his name? Yeah, BDX the plug. plug. You had to check them out. Check them out. Big X, out. Big check X. Out. Big X yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, shout out Big X the plug. I hey, got that's some that's some big shoes to fit. You talking about these struggles? <laughs> well, man, he just got a, yeah, 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 yeah. He got a lot of work to do, but everybody got to start. It's an evolution, for right? Sure, for sure. So sure. You, you definitely want to let people win. When you when you training somebody how to do something, you let them win. They become more better as they as you let them win. You right know? on, right on. And then and then you keep them stern, but you let them win. Right on, right <laughs> on. Without a doubt, indubitably. So so coming up, what 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 did you go to school at? Uh, I went to Atwell. Atwell. And then I went to I went to Carter High School. Oh, you went to Carter. Yeah, David W. Oh you man, know, you that's know the, the, that's, that, that school got a reputation. Yes, it does. Have a reputation. <laughs> what's, <laughs> the, know, what's the reputation? Well, I don't know. About it's the done had a lot of different things. Some of them kids went to jail back in the days. I remember. I like to lead with no, the good no, stuff. No, no, no. Like <laughs> they had a football just, team or something. I seen it on TV. It was a it was a big. We deal been on TV. We've been on TV. <laughs> you said lead with the good hey, stuff. We had, we had all the movies. You know? <laughs> the Friday Night did. Lights and all that. You know, hey, <laughs> leave yeah. all the good, we good stuff. Great athletes. Front. Great athletes <laughs> program, <laughs> you know. Great athletes okay. program, you know. So, uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> some cold rappers come out of there. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so, man. Uh, nah, we, 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 we've had our problems, you know. We've had Just our, like any other any school. Other school yeah, man. but, you know, they say them boys done got caught up. You know, with more robberies than Bonnie and Clyde. I remember the movie. Really, the yeah, movie yeah, went yeah. hard. And, you know, I had some of my partners, they daddies is in it. So I don't really be liking them. Because 
when you really from the from shit. The, yeah, 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 yeah. You got, I gotta, because I, I still yeah. gotta go back home. Like, exactly. But that shit you was talking on Boss Talk, you know, we all like, you know, come on. That's real, man. Yeah, man. So, so, shout out them boys, though, man. So, it's just a, a mistake, a fork in the road, you know. Yeah, so so you you had some bangers, man. Um, you you go all the way back, man. Uh, begging and plead, uh, sure. all kind of stuff that you done, you done put out there that – now I, I ain't even getting up to the stuff you recently done, but just how do you how, how do you uh, process like the whole you know just putting the music together? What's your process? Everybody got a process, man. Um, it, I used to have a like a real set in stone process. Now I just kind of I done gained so many tools on how to go in there and record that it's just if I it just depends on the situation. Like last night I had a feature to do, right? I went in there and you know they had the song already mapped out so all i really had to do was probably take something out of my notes that fit with you know the 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 message of their song if there even is mm -hmm. a message sometimes it's, they make it easy on me i don't got no message just go in there and talk shit. And, but other times if it's like a like a plot in the song mm -hmm. like for instance food stamp baby or something, i don't want to talk about that yet but, but i want to get to that but later I'm just, but i I'm get just, it you though. know just my example no no i get it man that food stamp baby go hard man yeah. a lot of people there's a lot of stuff behind that uh, just that whole transition with OG Bobby Williams. Yeah, but man. with me and my music alone, I just I fiddle on that piano and whatever tune. Just and sometimes it'll just wake me up. Like I'm, I know Quincy Jones said, it'll just wake him up at like three o'clock in the morning. And he just mm. get up and he had to just do it. And that's that's, but, that's but the what, best music. But what struck you that why you started taking it serious six months ago? What happened? The piano, yes. The music you've um, been doing, yeah. Right, but the piano. But the piano is just like it's just natural, man. It just. Like it's for me, it's easier but, than a guitar. You know, some okay. people just pick up a guitar and they can just stroke the guitar and then they come up with a tune. But for the piano, man, it's just man. So nothing really happened that you, because before you used to play with it. You yeah, didn't yeah really you know, just you just had like a little, little bitty keyboard, toy right. keyboard, or baby keyboards. If you just the Halloween theme song. Oh shit, I can hit that hole. But then mm, you don't yeah. take it serious no more because you right. want to start hooping, right? You yeah, yeah, be yeah. A hooping ass nigga, and then one day. You know, you start rapping, and then next day you be like, "Okay, what makes what separates me from everybody?" Exactly, what's, that's what's what I really, was thinking. Yeah, what's what's what makes me more different than everybody else? Mm -hmm. and, and and do you really feel like uh, do you really feel like like when when it come down to it, man? Once you hit that booth, man, it's on. Or it, especially if you're doing it with somebody else. Yeah. Be honest, it's a competitive thing. Yeah, you like, you like I, I gotta make mine right. It, it's it's. Because because if I compete on the song, that don't necessarily mean it's a good song. No, like no, if no, I no. Wanna, if I want to go in there and I want a hardest 16 I got, yeah, I could do that. And I get to chopping and rapping fast and all kind of metaphors, but that don't necessarily make it a good song. Do you do you key into your your, your clientele, like your, the, your fans, and be like, I know they going to like this one? Or, or do you even think about that part? Um, you I see just, where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah, I do. But for the most part, with my own shit, like I just try to be 100% genuine. That's it 100% right there. me at all times and then I think or just reach inside myself for something like that's real if yeah, I can yeah. reach inside myself for something that's completely real then I think the the supporters and fans they just gonna gravitate toward it period because I think we all got something you know that to that makes us the same in some way form or fashion and we when you say 100% you who are you who is Ty Harris Ty, Ty Harris is you know I'm, I'm, I want 100 percent. 100 percent. Ty Harris is 100 percent human being. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I mean, a regular to a point where I'm. I'm 100,000 percent honest about my my humanity. You know, my mental health. Not a lot of people like to say or talk about their mental health. Not a lot of people like to talk about their 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 shortcomings or even or even the good stuff about them. Like some people, like especially in the rap, everybody want to come straight from the mud. Like everybody want to come straight from the gutter, nigga. We all broke. Mm -hmm. But I know what it feels like to be broke, but I also know what it feels like to have something. You know? I like that. You know what I mean? What's the most difficult thing you had to um, talk about to everyone that um, took you a minute to get it out because it was a difficult situation? Mental health. Give oh. me a situation. Oh, just... Not Something believing in myself, through. just just not like, man, just wanting, just wanting it to all be over. You know what I mean? Just, I think, I think there's a fine line between suicide and homicide, and I yeah. think we all walk that mm -hmm. tightrope. Yeah, so Espe yeah, especially in the black community. Because mm -hmm. I, I had a, a 
that was a big thing for us with uh, Derez Deshaun when we interviewed mm -hmm. him a, a few weeks ago. He was mm -hmm. saying that mental illness be, is one of the key thing elements that he had has faced and the thoughts that that come up with him and right. the, the, the challenges of being, you know, being Derez Deshaun. You right, know what I mean? Right, right, uh, there's challenges to being Ty Harris. And, yeah. It, you know what I mean? But there's challenges and, and there's, to there's being pressure. Think, anybody. Yeah. Yeah. anybody. Yeah, but when I look at the scale that you guys are on, there's things that you guys are scaling that others aren't. So right. we got to be real. Right, right. You know, let's not no, let's not act like every yeah everybody got issues, but everybody don't have the same issues, right? Right. So so your issues and my issues are different, are but di at the, they still issues. They still but, issues. Yeah. yeah. But if I can empathize with your issues, right? If I can, you know, if I could put myself in your shoes because either I've been there or if I just put myself in, my, in your shoes and be like, man, how would I feel if I was in your shoes? I mean, just empathize and empathy and not just be so cold like everybody be walking around this motherfucker trying to act. Hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that, I think that's the... Dividing and siding factor. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, I get it, man. That That's what kind of I try to lean toward. I don't want to be the dude that's just always, yeah, I'm the tough guy. I'm yeah. nigga that, you know, yeah. nah, hell no, nah, I'm a human being. Like, exactly. I get heartbroken. I ain't the, mm -hmm. the mother, the pimp of the day. I ain't the pimp of the year. Yeah. I ain't the most gangster nigga walking around. But you had your pimp moments. He, yeah, yeah, you had your gangster moments. <laughs> you know, yeah. but we all, but we all do, because at the end of the day, we all. I'm still a man at the exactly. end of the day, bro. Don't don't test me. And I'm with my girl in the mall and shit. Nah, hell no, nah, because uh, yeah, no, nah. it ain't gonna go down like that. Bro. No, but, I, but scaling the way how you you're scaling now and you're rising. Um, when you, I'm still talking about mental health, because the higher you go up in the um, the ladder, right, I think is the more challenge people get where mental health is concerned because we were talking we were listening to cardi b last night and she was talking about when you do <clears throat> sorry when you do good things compared to when you do bad things and how they jump on all the bad things that you do and they don't really like to talk about the good, good but stuff. when you go out here and she cussed them out you know they try to talk about the good she's like don't even talk about me you right, know what right, i mean right, right. why you have to talk about me let me do my stuff in peace right you know what i mean so you have a lot of challenges because with the bloggers um interviewers um tmz i mean just everybody's gonna be yeah. talking about you because you hot right now you scaling and knowing all of these things and knowing that it's gonna be even even worse worse <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you up. think about that because you have um, all the people who are younger who are trying to be because they want that lime, limelight you yeah. know want that life but don't realize all these things come with it yeah I, I i try to think objectively in in all those situations as far as bloggers and you know, they, a lot of people like to say bloggers are the messiest motherfuckers on the face of the earth when it comes to this rap industry mm -hmm. thing. And, and I, I, I understand, but everybody has a job to do. You know, um, even though I'm I hopefully one day, hopefully, just cross my fingers, I won't be on the bad side of that job. Mm -hmm. But everybody has a job, you know, it's journalism. You yeah. know, whether it's tabloid journalism or broadcast journalism or it's, it's still news and media. You know, that's just the bloggers example. You know, you just gotta, I gotta remember that these guys, they like traffic on their page. And if I don't feed into the bullshit, I won't give them traffic on their page. Yeah. But it could be hard, because we all 1,000% human. And words yeah. hurt. You well, know, words that's hurt. with the oh question that, that I ask, you know, uh, that, that'll get you on the blogger's page quick. I done got many people on there yeah. because I ask questions about things that are going on within the city, within the music. Right, right. I mean, and you might answer a question. I had one the other day that I asked, and next thing you know, I look on somebody else's page. They done took it. I never even seen it the way they took it. Right. And they took it and they put twist our, it. They, they didn't really twist it. They just said per what he said. Perception it was just is a something that though. they took and said, uh, you know, this guy, you know, I'll give an example. This guy got his self shot over here, and I'm like, I'm like, wow, man, like, like it, it, when he said it on the platform, I didn't really think of it the way that the other person posted it and sure. made it look, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And and that's cool, you know. I, I'm the type of dude that that when I'm asking these questions in here for show time, I'm asking from the heart. I right. ain't even. First of all, I don't know none of these people, bro. So I don't really trip, man. I love all of these people, though. See, right, that's right. the difference, see? And then, and I got love for the city. I got love for our people, our culture. It's coming from a genuine place. Yeah, like, so, so yeah, I came here real. to, I showed up to, 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 to give an opportunity to people to be able to stand on a platform and say what they need to say. Yeah, yeah. And be and like a talented guy like you. Somebody going to see Ty Harris and be like, damn, you know, he, I can do it. I play the piano a little bit. Right. 
a kid. Right, right. I'm being I'm, real. Somebody, I'm, I'm a kid and even a something. black kid too, because yeah. some black kids feel like, oh, a piano, like I can't get. Or I can pay it in church, but that's about it. Man, say I took the um, was shooting this video, uh, and I it's gonna come out in early 2022. Okay, and I we brought the piano, like I got I got like a custom piano, right? And we brought it to Danielle Park. And so happened, just luckily, we brought it when they was doing like some kid function out there. And when the cheerleading function and the football function was over, like the kids just kind of gravitated toward the piano. And it was cool to see that it was something different that mm-hmm. day because they never, they was just, mm-hmm. at first they were just looking like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. That piano out here. And then you saw the cheerleading, the cheerleading girl come over there to touch it. Like yeah, put the put your put the pinky right here, put your middle finger right here, and your thumb right here, and boom, that's a major chord, you know. And right then, I you know never know, I probably could have sparked something in that little girl. For sure, right. that's what I'm talking about. That's the thing, man. Yeah, yeah, that up. that when people see you doing something, they feel like I can do it too, especially yeah. the younger kid. That's straight what the, that's what we should be trying to develop. Their minds are so uh, in tune to what everybody's doing on the internet. There's so much false perceptions on there. We need some real men like you, somebody who really can give them something positive, say, you know what? I see him doing that. That's a talent I would love to do. And to keep him out the streets, you know, coming from Oak Cliff, perception of Oak Cliff, a guy doing opera or any of that, it does not. It don't fit. It don't fit at all. It don't fit at all. You see what I'm saying? So I I just, I thank God for people like you because I know I already can spark something in the youth. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And that's real. Did you get any discouraging remarks whenever you first started out venturing into that area? Oh uh, yeah, it's always some bullshit. Somebody always hates you. <laughs> like why? I'm talking even like not just by strangers. I'm talking by people that you know or oh, family without, members and stuff like that. With that indubitably, yeah, straight up. My uh, <laughs> I got anies <laughs> that be looking at me like nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's uh, dope. Straight, straight up. But I still love them all the same. But they be like, nigga, you know you can't sing. I be like, I might can't, but somebody like it. Mm-hmm. You know oh, man. Mm-hmm. And, and, and 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 I'm one of them somebody's for they ain't sure. Right, shit. I found him on the internet and I I, I went in the DM quick. Mm-hmm. Boom boom boom. I then I talked bad to him when I finally got him on the phone. Say, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, I've been in your DM. You know how I do. Oh. <laughs> I do well, come I'm on, just, man. There's a lot of traffic sometimes. I, I know like. it. I talked solo was it so I think it was solo lucha. I hit him up. I say, nigga, don't text me back. Call me. That's yeah, what I yeah. told him. I'm an old school nigga. He <laughs> called me right, nigga, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because it be real with me. Yeah, I don't. I, I just. I be trying to get to what God put on my heart. And you, you I had seen that probably about uh, maybe about a month, two months ago. Two months ago. And when I seen it, you was lay it down. I'm a, m- 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 yeah, you yeah. were killing that old. Yeah, 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 man. I yeah. was like, Dad, this nigga. Here, but see, them, them them songs right there. You know, it was. It's like. Kind of easy to pick up on the piano because them songs we've been listening to our whole life. You know, life. you your, I've been your, your, yeah, I've been listening to that type song my whole life. Southside the realest Oak Cliff, that's my hood. Oh, you hit life. that old too. You know what I'm saying? The the, the one I just did, dun, Erica Badu. Dun, dun, oh, yeah. dun. Boy, that boy killed but, that but, but that's the one there. Like even if you had lunch or something and somebody hit that hole back at school, you'd be like, <laughs> you, go, oh, oh, you know, yeah. everybody get freaked down on that hole. So that's just kind of in, in our genetic code. Yeah. And you can play it without actually seeing the notes and everything like that just by hearing. Sometimes if you look at the <laughs> <laughs> nah. For the most part, man, it's just muscle memory, man. So, so memory. how did you end up uh, singing opera at the Mavericks game years back? All right, so in school, and I had David W. Carter, uh, I didn't. I, I was a hooping ass nigga. I ain't think about singing. Oh. I was trying to hoop. Get them boys. Yeah, but I wasn't doing good in school. <laughs> okay. I was doing trash in school, right? But hooping like crazy. I was trying, goddamn. You know, number two in the state. Do I see you? You know, straight up. You know, I told you, athletic program was amazing, but uh, I I needed an elective. You know, because my credits is horrible. Yeah, yeah, grades yeah. Bad. yeah. So if I, I wanted it. to hoop, I needed a mm-hmm. I needed an easy elective, and uh, I went to go get some snacks one day from the choir room, and Mr. Ashley, uh, choir director up there. He was like, uh, what you need? I was like, I want some fruit snacks. And he was like, oh, you got a deep voice. You want to be in our bass section? And I was like, shit, I looked at the soprano section. Hot hoes. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to get in that thing, man. I was just like, shit, fuck it. I was getting the choir. You know, I like music. You know, there ain't nothing to it. You yeah. know, so I got in there and, you know, it got interesting to me. And then I realized they took all the field trips. So I ain't have to come to school <laughs> if I was out doing this shit. Mm-hmm. And so after that, it just kind of got like, I'm going to do some choir. Yeah. I ain't got to go to school. I don't got truancy. Or I could just write it off on truancy. Yeah, I was doing, I was still in school. I just mm-hmm. wasn't at school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so it just 
got better and better and I started taking it serious and I, it was just music is just interesting to me naturally anyway and start, start knowing sight reading and shit next thing you know the UIL look competition the solo competition I got you know the best performer wow whatever shout out Barbara Hill Moore at uh, SMU she was my judge she gave me like the best performance in the whole UIL wow. thing mm. and she didn't lie Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. No, and, and no, then, you're a bad boy, man. And I thank God for you. Like I say, you're a breath of fresh air. We need all this, man. And right now, it's a wide open lane in Dallas, whether people want to admit it or not. Yeah. That diversity, yeah, too. I see you. It's I a wide see open it. lane, and people have lost their no. touch with the music. People aren't consistent. They let other people trick us out of our position. Y'all don't want to hear me tell y'all the truth, no, but no. I'm on Boss Talk 101. It's I got it. to tell yeah, it. It's Sunday. I got to preach it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to preach it, man. We got to do better. That's one statement, huh? We mm. got to do better, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, who would you say your clientele is? Your listeners, like listeners. if you had to um, describe. I got, I got, I got a, a lot of bit of everybody. You know, I from the street niggas to the to the weird niggas to the the women, the 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 the, the, the ratchet women, the, the the quote unquote class women. I think all women got a little class button they can push. I think all women got a ratchet button they can mm -hmm. push. But uh, just everybody as a whole, I think I, you know, I'm, I'm my music and what I stand for is just kind of like a down to earth kind of vibe. Mm. You just remind you that you're still human and you're not this shooting ass, shoot 'em up ass, gangster ass nigga. I mean, mm -hmm. that shit get you live. Yeah, that shit go hard sometimes in the club, but for the most part, you got to look inside yourself and see we all still the same. You know, yeah. we ain't all drug kingpins out in this mm -hmm. motherfucker. Mm -hmm. We ain't all got them bowls going in and out. You know. Mm -hmm. Hell no, nah. son. Just be human, bro. For be sure. real. Let's be real. Let, let me. Let me. Uh, I seen you on the picture with E Forty. Did you guys y'all done some work together? Yeah. And, that's that's uh, unk, E Forty. E Forty used to talk that talk about Oak Cliff way long time ago. Straight up. Is he? He got cousins or something in Oak Cliff. Oh, he got a lot of cousins. That's. that's I, I'm telling you. I used to hear him say this way before. He you, got a lot you, of cousins. I don't know. If you, you just was, mentioned you, one. You, I probably shouldn't say that. My bad. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, Is the this camera on? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, all them cameras no, on. My, my. <laughs> but like Old Cliff, man, uh, he always spoke highly of Old Cliff, man. Even Kid and Play uh, was on Vlad, and he was yeah, like, Chris, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You heard him yeah, say that? Yeah, he yeah, like, yeah. man, that's my hood. Don't shout go over there. Shout out Young Nino, man. He got a, he got a cool flow. <laughs> he got a cool little, little flow. Mm -hmm. So uh, how did you and him end up linking up as uh, far as E-40, and uh, what is that about? Can you talk about it? Oh, uh, man. Just the piano stuff, man. Okay. Uh, piano stuff. My manager, E40, he he posted something on his story. He posted the Oakley freestyle on his story. Uh, and I want to say I got a call probably like five minutes later after after I saw the post. And hello, it was a, it was a different number. You gonna answer them different, different area codes? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. This might be my this might be the so break. This man. might be it. <laughs> you know, I answered and it was. It was E forty. I didn't know it was him at first because he said some weird shit. He's because you know it's E forty. I don't I don't know the lingo. Yeah, but yeah. I, knew, I ain't know what he was saying, but I knew where he was coming from. Yeah, yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, this this your uncle Earl. It's forty water. I, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so yeah. then you know we locked in. He came. He came to the city, and then he invited me, and we. I brung my studio because you know sometimes be engineer. I engineer myself, hey, and so dope. I brought my studio and we locked in. I want to say all goddamn night to five o'clock in the morning. Wow! Yeah. How did you learn how to um, engineer? Mm -hmm. My brother, okay. my big brother. Yeah, I just I used to be on the game like a fly on the wall while he was recording all the mother niggas. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's dope, man. So, uh, so was it? Did he? Did you see some things in E Forty that you really wouldn't have expected? Uh, that kind of surprised you. Being that he is one of our premier patriarchs uh, uh, in hip hop, E Forty remind me a lot of my big brother, just like an older version of my big brother. Okay, okay. you know he, the Scorpio kind of vibe thing. I'm into astrology like that, but the Scorpio kind of vibe, and he was just kind of putting me on game. Like he was just it's so much knowledge and so much game, just oozing out of him every time he talked. Every time he said something, I was just on it. Like, what you mean? What do you mean by that? This, that, and the third. He was just giving me all. Game is to be sold, not told, kind of thing. You know. Wow. Well, yeah, I like it. I like it, man. That's dope, man. He has a lot of knowledge. A lot of, a lot of knowledge. But man. him, him, too short. I met, I met short. You met short. I met short. He on the wall up there. Yeah, for sure. That's I one met, of my guys, man. Shout what did you learn from him? Shout dog. I like how I, I like I like how too short move. I like how unk move. He move cool, man. He moved. Don't nobody. I, I take I take that from him because he don't move so super gangster. Mm -hmm. But don't nobody want to. 
play with him. Who gon' well, that don't make you that don't make you tough, tough man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That don't make you that don't make you a real and that don't make you cool to fuck with too short. Like mm. I like Oak how Cliff, everybody Oak, love Oak him right. and everybody respect him. Yeah. Because man. I ain't moving. I, I From love that. Oak Cliff to Oakland, man. From Oak Cliff to Oakland. Hey, man, it's man. going down, Straight man. Up. Hey, that Straight that's up. dope, man. Straight hey, up. so you brought them boys hey did so where'd you meet short at if you don't mind me asking? Uh, his studio. Oh, so you went to you went to Oakland? Uh, I'm not gonna tell where he at. Oh, but okay, Atlanta. You know, I'm I'm <laughs> but he, I love it. Have you done work with him yet? Uh, I, I'm a fly on the wall in the studio every time I go over there. You mm. know, I'm I like to get the information in. He he threw me an alley oop one time that I can't disclose. Mm. Okay, he threw me a oop one time. It was pretty. I didn't realize he was doing so much game. I mean, one of them almost flew over my head, and I had to reach back and grab it like Odell. Mm. But you know, that's. So is he okay? Uh, I'm gonna get into Blood Brother. What? Explain that to me. Give me an understanding of where that song came from. You and OG Bobby Billions. You and OG Bobby Billions, man. Um, I don't know if y'all know anything about Billy Gang. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, come on, man. Yeah, I'm friends with uh, Space, Space. We was together last Space, night. You know, yeah, me and Space yeah, was yeah. together last night. You Billy Gang? Nah, I'm not Billy Gang. Okay, but you rock. <laughs> I, like, I like to say I'm a I'm a, I'm a cool little affiliate. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's my uh, people, man. I know, love those guys. Yeah, man. man. And you know, I went to high school with a couple of them. Okay, and, and all they all they little brothers is like my age group. You yeah, know okay. what I'm saying so. Uh, when we were writing the song, we were doing the song in the studio. It was just kind of. He was talking about his situations. I was talking about my situations, and they just kind of coincided, and it was kind of cool. But shout out Billy Gang because they cool people, man. Uh, all of them, the, the ones that went to Carter, the ones that went to Cedar Hill, the ones that went to Townview, all of them. Like they, they heavy in the game. Yeah, they got the, them. yeah, straight that's up. That's dope. Straight up. I like it. So uh, I love the song, man. I mean, I. Uh, uh, I don't know, Bobby get a he get a he get a raw deal for some of the stuff that's been going on lately. I know you probably don't want to expound, but I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I can still ask. You can opt out, you know, like uh, some of the statements that he's made here recently uh, mm-hmm. on certain interviews. Uh, say cheese, he was on mine, and uh, some of the people got kind of frustrated it. with some of the things he was saying. Um, I know that being from Oak Cliff, uh, how do you feel about? The interactions of the way Dallas, I put it like that. Yeah, the way Dallas uh, kind of, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, they got these 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 whatever walls up, you know, the barriers. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Um, when 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 think about Bobby and like all the stuff, and you know, he get a bad rep and all that shit, and he just kind of got the short end of a stick from the media and the the people standpoint because I think we all know when. I'm going to say it like this. A person is smart. People can be kind of ignorant. You know, people, people, a flock of people look for a leader, right? Mm-hmm. And um, once a leader says something and they establish that leader to be able to move those people, they kind of hang on that person's every word, if you catch my drift. And, and, and people are going to trend. Like I was just saying this, it was a, it was a post that came up about, Fuck it, Yellow Beezy, and mm-hmm. about his music, and everybody always like, Yellow Beezy music, whack. And every time he put up a snippet, they always say this shit trash. And they always, and I, I just think, just like it was for 6 9 for everybody to, it was a fad to, to, to hate on 6 9 or say something negative about 6 9 It's a fad to say something negative about Trump, regardless of where your political standpoint is. It's, it's, it, it becomes a fad and a trend to not like these certain people. Mm-hmm. And once you get on that, end of the stick it's hard to break away and then next thing you know it's, it becomes some WWF shit where you gotta be the heel of the entertainment business you gotta be the villain of the entertainment business and that's what they painting them out to be so and they not even looking at the real human being behind the shit correct when I look at look, just getting back to OG Bobby Billions when I look at the the music man um, it's different uh, I definitely like it yeah, he's I a think, great I song think, for some Listen, I, I I love the way he he uh, his cadences is and the way his flow is. Right. It's different. He's got his own thing. Right, right. Um, so did did you have any uh, pushback like when you was going to do the song with everything that was going on with him at the time? Nah, nah. But you know, I don't move like that. Okay, <laughs> that's why when I, when I talk about too short, I don't move like that. I don't move in a sense of 
Ah, nigga, I'm rah rah beefed up. And, you know, a nigga try to beef with me is just roll off the shoulder like Mayweather. Like I don't get into all that. Yeah. And if it is some smoke, I want to really talk to the real human being behind the internet. You know. Correct. And not even on no guys. Just hey, bro, what's going on, fam? I heard you talk some shit on Clubhouse, and I want to get to the bottom of it. You know, I ain't your enemy, blah blah blah. And it'd be like that, and I don't be on no other type of time. But uh, I'm not gonna do the whole Instagram live. I'm not gonna do all that lame ass shit because I think that shit's so goddamn lame, boy. I think it's just the worst. Yeah, I, I really do. This it's, shit made me stick sick to my stomach. It's really disgusting. Yeah, but it's just all for for the traffic. It's all the traffic for the internet. Yeah, for but the in this, but in this industry, I found out that you have to be very, very careful of who do you, who you do work with because for the main fact that they might be beefing with somebody else, you might not have been beefing with any of these people, mm-hmm. but because. Say example, you mentioned Yellow Beezy, but you um you did say you do something with him, but he beefing with somebody else, but you're looking for down the future to do work with that other person, they're not mm-hmm. gonna wanna do work with you because you did something with him. I feel like if Kirk Franklin can do a song with NBA Youngboy. We can do anything. If Michael Jackson could do a song with Biggie Smalls. Hey. If 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 you know we Come can on, do all man. things. If Michael Jackson uh, do a song with Biggie Smalls, if Michael Jackson things. do a song with R. Kelly, Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson, Michael Jackson, Jackson, yeah, but Michael Jackson didn't Mike. do something with Biggie Smalls and Tupac. Well, I think at the time Tupac was already dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't mean to just be an asshole <laughs> yeah. about the situation, yeah. but I think bro was already, you know. Yeah. But if he hadn't passed away, Mike would have worked both of them. Mike would have worked both of them. I mean, Mike the thing though. But so big though. But who worked with Michael's sister? Yeah. Tupac, Tupac worked with Michael's sister. Michael's sister. Like, come on, man. Yeah, man. Nobody, it's, we man, just trying to create money. art, right? It's yeah, art, let's right? make some money. Let's make some art. Let's do something that's going to push the push the, the community forward, man. Like, come on. So, man. Food Stamp Baby, I mean, just uh, the, the song and, 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 and Bobby Billions, again, going and doing that with Trap. Mm-hmm. Trap Boy uh, and him collabing uh, after uh, Outside. Do you feel like it was too... Too, too short, soon? too soon, or you don't agree with that now? See, because you you a free spirit, so yeah, straight up. Yeah, I mean, so do you feel like it was too soon, or do you think Bobby Billion was okay to do whatever? Um, the, I think the way it was rolled out, um, the way it was way way it was perceived, and and everything that was going around the whole situation at the time, all the bullshit. It made that song a lot harder than what it was supposed to be to drop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I think it was a lot of instigation going around that song. It was a lot of of nonsense bullshit going around in that song. Um, and at that time, still now to this day, like I was just saying, it was a fad and it was a trend not to like a certain person that's on that song. Yeah, which is Trap Boy Freddie. Yeah, because of all the nonsense and the bullshit that was surrounding him at the time and in that right. situation, and so when it was dropped, of course, with Bobby Billions being on the forefront of the outside song, which was perceived as the the we gonna ride for Mo Three, you know that song was when it came when it dropped with Three's version of it. It was the video and everything. Everybody holding the guns, you know what you put in, you get back. And so all the niggas holding them guns in that video, the fans perceived it as, oh, this the nigga that's going to ride for three. Hey, yeah, nigga, HSM back on top. You know, mm-hmm, all that lame mm-hmm. ass shit. And so when it was perceived like that to the public, they, they adopted Bobby as damn near the new Mo3, you know, everybody in that video. Mm-hmm. And then when, when Bobby was like, what the fuck? And he, I, I think he just caught on to it. He caught on to it just a tad bit too late that they was on some trying to make you the face of the mm-hmm. nigga that's going to ride for three. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then I, I saw it when it happened. I, I remember it happening like right before my eyes because we was I was, me and Bobby was already kind of tight and locked in the studio this, that, and third. I was going to shows and bitter in and all that. And I, I just remember it, man. I, re- I remember them setting it up. And me and Bobby had a conversation in Houston. And I was like, hey, you know they're going to try to do this to you, right? And he was like, I don't think so, bro. You said it like that. And I was like, all right. All right, I hope not. And then, boom, as soon as the bitch dropped, then the him and the manager, they're going at it. And I'm like, oh, shit. It's going down. Oh, shit, bro. 
and I, I just remember I was just watching it on on what you call on, on my phone. I'm just mm-hmm. watching it as it all rolls out. And I'm like, yeah, they made it look yeah. as if your ass was gonna be the riding nigga. And then when you was like, bro, what the fuck? That's when these motherfuckers, the sharks came and they smelled the blood, and then they mm-hmm. they 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 attacked you, and then they they made you out to look like a whole ass nigga. Can he? Can he? Can he overcome this situation? From your perspective, indubitably, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Ty Harris got to make it. <laughs> so, uh, how are you? You and him linked? Y'all just that's y'all, my dog, man. I'm you a, just ride. I, you rock with him. I'm a dog, man. I, 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 I've, I've had a conversation with Bobby. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I've looked Bobby in his eyes. I have played dominoes with Bobby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did y'all meet? Uh, his managers, his managers, um. Birthday party, I think in 2019 or 2020. That was the first time I saw bro. You okay. know, and shook his hand. Uh, it probably wasn't the first time I saw him, but it was the first time we actually had like a what's happening, I'm Ty, I'm Bobby type moment. Uh, it was a show in South by Southwest that I forgot all about. He was on the same show that I was on, and I didn't mm-hmm. realize it, but now it's, yeah, I mean, I, I fuck with Bobby though. I think Bobby's a genuine person behind all this bullshit. Mm hmm, mm hmm. You, when, when I think about uh, uh, Bobby and, and what he's done and for the city, I look at it on a whole level, another level. I'm looking at the whole picture, what Bobby's done, what Mo 3's done, what uh, Trap Boy's done, what Yellow's done, what uh, um, any of those guys have done, Strap. Mm-hmm. Any, all of this is a collective, what you've done. We Dallas, man. Yeah, straight up. You know what I mean? I'm out here in Dallas, man. I see a lot of talented brothers, man. I think I would... Our division is what's keeping everything from being productive as it needs to be. Without a doubt. I'm being real. It, it's so much time. Would you be willing to work with anyone from uh, other s- sides of town like uh, Pleasant Grove, uh, North Dallas? Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, there's talent in these areas. That, that guy I was just talking about, I really, I'm, I'm a, just, I, just I don't even know that, him, right? Just just keep me out that messy ass shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to be involved in the mess. Yo, you know? music so is different. There's yeah. anybody you wouldn't want to work with? Uh, come on with it. I just just don't, just don't bring me no mess. Don't bring don't me no bring bad no news. Mess, yeah. Don't bring me no bad news. What she say on the whiz? Yeah. straight like that. Don't, <laughs> don't do that shit, bro. Cause then get, you know these niggas will try to set you up to look like a whole ass nigga. And yeah, I don't, I don't deal with that shit, bro. Well, just, your just music is cool. is so defining. Your music is something to where you are set apart. And and I think you should take it that way. Like I think you should scale it that way. Um, it's something that you can't even put in. A, you can put it in with different people, but you're you're different. Yeah. I mean, everybody now out here playing on piano. They they act like they are. I think Yellow <laughs> were acting like that on this Stevie I, I, Wonder. I, I, I you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I love Yellow, man. Yeah, yeah, and I, cool. I, I love love. I've always liked his music a lot. No matter mm-hmm. what he put when trapping design and all that was going on, I was I was yeah. I always say that on here, you know. It's just um but I understand where everybody's at too. It's a lot of people been hurt, bro. Yeah, straight up. That's a lot of lives. Now you been got, lost, you got man. niggas gotta take accountability for that for sure. Yeah, you know, but we uh, gotta heal. Time. Yeah, straight up. You know. It's just it's just one of them things, man. It's all bad. Like all that shit was the worst thing that pro- that possibly could have happened. And I'm not just talking about the Shit that happened last year, but I'm talking about everything. the whole ordeal, yes, like yes, the whole everything. bitch, like everything from mm-hmm. this song to that song to this. It was crazy, situation. yeah. And 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 but and then when you you had to pick a side, you know what I mean? Like you forcing people to pick sides and everything else. Yeah, that shit whack. But it happens. I, 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 and people people. I've been pushed to a situation because it was like, oh no, you dealt with him. Yeah, you, and, and I, I'm like, what? Yeah, it, it, it is like they force right? you to pick a side, but it, it, you know, when you remain a real nigga and you remain solid, can't nobody, everybody just gotta respect it. Like there, I think there's people, like in the city, regardless of what, any situation, like you gotta respect a nigga like hit that hoe, uh, Mister hit that. Like, Let's you, hit you, that. Got, <laughs> you gotta respect the nigga like Bebe. You gotta respect yeah. these niggas because, you know. They they stood solid on on the city needs to be here, right? In the midst of the madness, you know what I'm saying. These are the type of dudes that that say, "Oh, Ty Harris is here," you know what I'm well, saying. That you brought up, Bay Bay, because there was a deal this week where people been floating it around. He went to Dolph's funeral, but he didn't go to yeah, Mo Three's three. funeral. Mm, well, you see what I'm saying. That that's been a narrative that people have spoken on this week because they felt like he didn't go 
And he's from here. And he's from okay, here. Okay, let's think of Well, Dick. he's not from here. He's from Shreveport. But he's I know, still, but he, he was talking to Mo3 just but, like but, he was talking to Dog. Let's think objectively and put yourself in that man's shoes. You know, if you put yourself in that man's shoes, is it, it first off, he's a grown ass man. He can do right. whatever the fuck he want to do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's that's first and foremost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but, I'm baby, but, right? Yeah, you know, but, you know, like if he he's a lot more intimate with this city. And we're both parties of that situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, man, I can't say that. Nah, fuck it. Lord, <laughs> Lord, Lord forbid it was the other way around. He'd probably have to choose the same path. Yeah, I get it. It, it just, it, like I said, it's a lot of, it's a lot going on with the politics of the hip-hop culture in the Dallas area right now. It used to didn't be that way. You could do music back when Lucci and... I remember when Don Chief had it, whole these these all them different uh, eat greedy volumes coming out. It was no problem. He could just drop music. Nobody had a problem with 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 Don yeah. Chief, man. You know what I'm saying? And it was smooth, man. Yeah. And you had Lil Wheel, and Lil Wheel was saying my Dougie at the same time, and 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 it was no nothing going on. But, see, that was a different time. Man. But you am know, I right? Well, yeah, you right. But that that this is the age of information, man. Like you right. Everybody got their phones. Everybody got their feelings, and everybody got their opinions. So at the same. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. When you get them three in the mix, like this should get this should get rough. <laughs> and everybody's getting more vocal with everything. That's the that's what yeah. you got to understand. <laughs> the people like Don Chief them paved the way. The people like uh, uh, Duro paved the way. You can't Tell sit back and say. Uh, yeah, but now, no, these niggas need to have some respect for the people who paved the way and look at how they done it, too. Yeah, I met DeRoe for the first time when I met Charleston. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's my boy yeah, right yeah. there. He been on here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah DeRoe, DeRoe, he gonna come through and check on me, man. DeRoe, Shout out to Cash, man. man. Uh, the, 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 what, what they call the clique over there? Primetime. Primetime click. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, shout out to Ro, man. But, man, I like, you know, when he came on here, man, he he spoke on the Mo3 thing because he was a little, you know, he was closer kind of the Mo3 uh, side, I guess, because okay. they making people pick side. I ain't going to say because he said he hung out with Yellow, too. But at the end of the day, you know, because, like I said, when they came, it wasn't, it was their lane was different. Yeah. They didn't have to worry about all these different things going on, man. Oh, I did my music. Oh, it hit in Oakland. Just kind of like you did with Oakland when you said right, yeah, that yeah. his his music was kind of like a yeah that's why the same yeah, Cole, feel. Yeah, did y'all talk about that? When uh, you uh, we talked about you know the, the whole Oakland shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's very obvious what that. happened with him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I mean, shit, I'm trying. I'm trying to do a song with the row. Like, oh I'm, yeah, I'm trying to get a song, bro. I got to send them. I got to send them. The man, I sure people. hope it happened, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy that, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm me. I, I, I fuck with the road. The road. I like people. it, man. The That's the, like people. I said. These are the bridges we got to cross. Yeah, we got to make it to where people see the city in a way that everybody can work together again. Yeah, straight up. I'm but being real. It, it, you know. It's not like we got like QC in this motherfucker. Like we got a QC label in this. Oh, we talked that. about that on another episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't. We can't. We, we don't have that 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 certain brand here. Uh, uh, brands that where everybody is like being. You got you got your brand. Don't get me wrong. You got your certain name, your labels, uh, independent labels, but not like a QC. Not like a. But but I mean, in our not, defense, not, not in like, our defense, I think we they had a head. Atlanta has a head start. L.A. has a head start in the music game. In New, New York? York? New York has a head start in the music game. Even Florida, like, and Louisiana even. Uh, we, 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 Houston, but Dallas, you know, we just now getting our wings, just not growing our and wings. And I think that's the perfect opportunity yeah, for us I, to I excel. Think, I think people are jumping off this off this Dallas wave a little bit too soon because of the, the shit and the bullshit. But I think if you give us a little bit more, a little bit more time, we gon' we gonna show niggas that and we're gonna show the world that it's it's a lot of good shit still coming up out this motherfucker. Like why, why, why do you think Houston don't work with Dallas a lot of time? I think Houston looks at Dallas more so as a as a money pot to come here and make money. Same way Louisiana, mm -hmm. same way all these places do. Like they come here and they make their little bag and they dip. That's what we've always spoke about here on our platform. Mm -hmm. you know? How can we keep that money here? So um, that's that's real. So I I I, I like um I like what the uh, them, them boys do what some of these boys do when they when they bring somebody in the city. You bring somebody in the city, um they gotta work with some of these artists. You gotta work with some of these city these, these mm -hmm. artists in the city, man. The the big the big artists in the city, you gotta work with them. 
if you coming in, you can't just make your bag and dip. Now you gotta dip, make your bag right. and you gotta fuck with us. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, fuck with us. Cause now you just highway robbery. Mm-hmm. Come on, fuck with us. Come on, show us some love. And then we showed you love. Come to come to the little the club, make your money, and then we're gonna go to the studio after this. I'm gonna get like eight bars from you real mm-hmm. quick. Let's do the just do the video and boom, you come back and I got you. You know what I'm saying? Same shit. Are you are you are you planning to take these trips to some of these smaller towns like the East Texas area? I like got a family lot of like, East Texas. Okay. Where what part? Uh, Tyler. You got people in Tyler. Tyler, Texas. Man, but you uh, that's important too. Like when an artist start out, you have to go you their show show money. Yeah. People are are looking. They hear the songs, yeah. but you got to put that work in. Straight right? up. Whether it be Oklahoma, wherever, right? Yeah, straight and up. then Cali, wherever, but you got to go out here and meet and greet and deal with these people. And, and, and you got to deal with it. I, I think these artists, like our artists, I'm going to say our artists, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to press them real quick. <sighs> but you like you playing the piano no. right there, nigga. <laughs> that nigga hand gotta, say, ah. Oh, nah, you know? nah, yeah, straight up. But now nah, <laughs> these, these, these dudes got to realize that you you keep yourself relevant and you keep yourself on if you fuck with the next nigga coming up. I get it. You motherfuckers like these these dudes they they want to, you know, they they scared to fuck with other artists in the city and other talented artists in the city because they don't want to, you know, fuck with somebody who's on that other side because they got their bullshit beef going on. Mm-hmm. I understand that, but at some point you got to realize you have to you have to start getting with some of these artists coming up. Because when they get on, they're going to remember that you helped them. For example, me. <laughs> I'm going to remember everybody that helped me. Because it's like, it, it's, it's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I just started believing in my own little hype just like recently. Usually mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, the humble nigga and I just try to do my own little No, I think you got, to, you got to, you got now, to Muhammad uh, yeah, Ali, your situation. But now, now at, this, <laughs> at, this, at this point in time, I'm just kind of looking at all this situation and shit. I know I done reached out to a lot of you motherfuckers. Man, well, I reached out to you, so don't try to. No, nah, but, 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 <laughs> but, 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 Go ahead, come on, go on with it. But, but, I'll give you time. But you got, you got, you got to reach out to everybody that, that they see you, they see the work. They, on, I, I seen it. They, hell, come that's why on, I was man. reaching. Like, you know, niggas, if I seen it, they seen come it. Come on, bro. You, you, you see, you see this young buck doing his shit. It's there's no nothing wrong with saying, hey, bro, you go hard. Let's let's work because at some point, like it's up for you. I can see it clearly. Instead of trying to ball a block or some shit. Well, about it, though, everything like, happens in its own due time yeah, and everything happens like. for a reason <laughs> it, the reason why some people probably don't you know reach out whatever is not meant for them to yeah whoever reaches like out um, it's meant for that person to but work that with shit you. gonna be hella lame if nigga blow oh, you up go, ain't no if ain't no if but, uh, uh, but i'm just he saying fought say it, ain't, he fought it and said it was ain't, ain't, i'm not you saying i'm not about? saying if i blow i'm saying if i blow up and your ass ain't hit me up yet because then that's, that's what i feel that's too. Awesome. i get it come that on, is bro. so true man come on bro i agree with that why you why you want to fuck with me now but it's like back then it don't feel genuine like what the hell like why you act like why you acting like that, bro? Come on, we could have been, we could have been did that shit, but your ass was something going on in your where you ain't want to do it. And For sure, yeah. top three artists of all time, dead or alive, any genre. Number one artists, yeah. yeah, not just rappers. Anybody, any genre, oh, any genre, dead or alive. Number and one, two, and three for artists, you. Artists can be pianist. It can yeah. be anybody. anybody. Yeah, Number know. one. Usually, I get rappers. I don't care about that. I mean, we all in the same game. I'm gonna go with yeah. uh, groups uh, or just one. Anybody groups or just one. Anybody. Uh, any anything you however you want to slice and dice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Ooh, I'm gonna go Michael Jackson. For okay, sure. Number one. Oof, so you, wait a minute. That's Michael the easiest Jackson. person to say. That's yeah, why but Michael, they say Chris him. Brown better than Michael Jackson. I've heard this a lot, bro. Chris Brown got all his sauce from Michael. I say that too, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of people said that. A about lot a, of people say that. Well, who said it? One person. Who? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it's <laughs> it wasn't no one it's, person. It's Trick Daddy said it too. It's an argument, man. Uh, I like, I like, I like Mike. And number two, I like Beyonce. Beyonce. Boy, I ain't heard that one. That that not by a guy anyway. Bro, 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 bro. I, mean, I love that. I love that. the south, nigga. But, but, just, but just think about it. Like, okay, so both of them, both of them people. Even Chris Brown, your name. I'm gonna say he an honorable mention on some shit. Mm-hmm. He ain't gonna make my list, but he an honorable mention. He honorable mention. <laughs> I, fuck, I fuck with him. He's tough, but 
No, both of these people dance. Both of these people sing. Yeah. Both of these people do amazing videos and get yeah, in there. They and put act a lot sometime. into it. Some of the most they got movies about just you know the moonwalk or the truth. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I know we talk about this Travis Scott shit and everybody was passing out and it was fucked up, but Michael been doing that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if nobody died or nothing. Well, but, but we don't you know. know they, that that's another thing about the Travis Scott thing. They say oh, he didn't. They say he ain't know niggas was dying and shit. But if you up there and you see people passing out, you probably think you arrived if you an artist. <laughs> yeah, uh, sitting up there like Michael you Jackson before he took his shades off. You know, Man, Michael, Michael those... pop up on the stage and niggas just get to falling all out. And they he get didn't have to pop up. on the stage. He could th throw his yeah, glove yeah, out the window. He throws his glove out the window just the glove. You, can't, you can't compete with that. And, <laughs> then, and then Beyonce. That, that's why I bring it back. She sing, dance, got the movies, do all kinds of yeah, cool yeah, shit. Yeah. Have twins come back still on top. Yeah, yeah. Married, looking all. good. Come on, man. You can't compete with that type of shit. That's, you know, and these niggas just be rapping, thinking they doing something. <laughs> like uh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's some bullshit. So uh, and you talk about number artists. Three? Number Three, Oof. there you go. Get you a snicker. You ain't gonna be able to come up with this one easy. Oh, man. You got to ex everybody else out the game. I don't think because because we everything is just like Chris Brown, and then these is my niggas. Yeah. Uh, number three, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with a classic one. I'm gonna probably go with a white boy. Go ahead. Really? You, Let him do it. I'm gonna probably go. Oh, you got I'm offensive a, with it. You like the, you want him to go with the white boys. Go boy. ahead, who? No, I'm, I'm gonna probably go with the white boys. Uh, and he started talking like them. The, the white boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, those those boys can sing. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna go, you I'm gonna go, go with, with the Beatles. Beatles. I'm gonna the go Beatles? With the Beatles. I'm gonna go with the Beatles. Paul McCartney, Neil. Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Ringo. All Ringo. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go with the Beatles, man. Man, what you know about the Beatles? Man, I know I know, I know a lot about the Beatles. They just had a special on Disney Plus. They just had a special on Disney Plus about the Beatles, man. Um, yeah, the, but the outfits the Beatles wore, you know, the colorful little shits and then the artwork. That shit was that shit was groundbreaking at the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. It's a reason why Michael got them masters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But so yeah. He dang sure got them too. And he had affiliations with them as well. Straight up. You know, people don't really, it, what about Prince? You didn't say no. I love, I love Prince. Boy, that nigga he was a musician hard. though. Twenty seven instruments. I th I think yeah, I think he was the best musician. But if we talking artists and all, and when it, see when people talk about artists with me, I think about the art. Mm -hmm. Prince is the greatest musician to do this shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? As far as artists is concerned, you got to think about because it's more than one aspect to art. You know, you got acting, you got dancing, you got music, you got all these different dimensions in art. Do you, uh, how do you feel about R&B, man? I'm an old school nigga, man. Like Brian McKnight and all these cats that nobody even talk about uh, no more. Uh, they don't even McKnight. talk about these guys no more, but these are extraordinary dudes. He and they said R&B coming back, really. Well, who said it? I ain't a seen A lot of people said R&B They got to work. Back. They got to work. The first, the first CD Look I ever got. Look at all these rappers they singing. They got to work. Look at all these rappers singing That's now. That's not the same, though. R&B is coming you back You talking about T-Rail and them? A lot of them. Who you everybody. talking about? The Red, the Sean? Yeah, everybody. It, 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 ain't, it, it ain't like, it ain't you know, the same like Brian. It, it, it ain't like singing in it the rain and the point and all that. Yeah, yeah, you don't get that no more. You don't yeah, get them but, hoes but no more. But it's trickling that way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. But, you know, most of you niggas. Murray. Murray is not. He, mm. In the quick sand. But yeah. no, nah, <laughs> nah, that, that is not it. <laughs> not, not, it's not the R&B thing. It's, yeah. That's the difference. But it's dope. But it's not the same. Rod Wave. He's more of a rapper than a singer. But you see what I'm saying? That's the bridge they're trying to bridge it with. Right? I sang a little. He do a little something. A little, Don't put him on the spot on Boss Talk you know, 101. You know, you know, I, <laughs> I, we need the piano here. I sure wish I could have drug it up oh, in here. Shit, man. <laughs> we on. done went off in here today. Oh, your kids, your son be having the app with a piano on the app on the phone, and he be playing the piano on his phone. Oh yeah, did that even work? I mean, it it'll teach you though, right? Nah, it actually does. I got the same. <laughs> <laughs> he do it too. Yeah, I got the same up. He'd be on there playing. Yeah, he'd uh, be on there playing. He, he told me, Mom, I'm, I think I might need a. Shamari said she need a keyboard. keyboard. I'm like, I'm not going to buy you oh, no keyboard. That, and, and you can play it just like on the piano. Let me ask you something, man. So, um, if you could go back and talk to the younger you, that's one of my favorite questions to ask, man. And you could go back to when you was uh, in high school. High school. And and, and uh, yeah, ver uh, just coming in high school or something, just getting, just learning, uh, just 
Take it serious. Take yeah, yeah. That's what you would say. Well, that's what you would say to your 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 sixteen year old self. Take it. Take you it need serious. to be more serious. At a younger age, take it serious. So, do you feel that if you had taken it serious at a younger age, that you reach further in life right now? I'd probably be an opera singer. I'd probably be an opera singer. Think I'd, so? Yeah, I'd probably be. I'd probably never dropped out of college. I probably would have had all my grades right. Would have take it serious. Be decisive. I. Do you think if you went back and told yourself that at 16 that you would have listened to yourself? <laughs> think, was, think about yourself at 16 years old. Probably. And think about yourself now. Yeah. You could have convinced yourself to listen to you if you didn't know that was you. Oh, if I didn't know it was me? Right. Exactly. That's different. Because if I know it's me, <laughs> if real. <laughs> I bet. You could get into acting, man. You know that, don't you? I think about it. I think about it all the time. You could get into it. Uh, what's that boy name that came on here? Uh, Which man. one? Uh, Antonio, oh, Diego, yeah, Diego, trying to get it together. It's some mm. people that's trying to get in to make the. Uh, uh, See, a lot of C. people, James, C. A lot James of got people moving. branching off into I didn't think you with him. Okay, yeah, okay. he did his own budget, his own movie, and it's dope. When I show it to you, after this, you're gonna be like, "Dang, yeah. this dude, he in Arkansas, he in Hollywood." Oh man, that's crazy. And go with hard with it. Shout out to C. James, man, that's my guy right that's there. Crazy, you said something about acting. I was thinking about uh, it was an audition for Fences somewhere in. Uh, you yeah. gotta go, man. Yeah. You gotta give it a I shot. I think it's in Missouri. It's auditions. So. You gotta go. If you can do anything, because the thing I always tell people, I said, if there's something that you want to do in life, don't hesitate and do, just do it. Um, because a lot of times we are our biggest critics. We were like, nah, True. you know, we discourage ourselves so many times in, into doing things. And then later on, you're like, I wonder what would have happened if I did do X, but Y, Z. Look at Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx from Terrell, Texas, right here up the street. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets on the piano when he's in, in, in Terrell. Boom, 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 boom. He goes to uh, California. The truth. The acting and everything else start to be a thing. I wanted to sing, but I end up having to do this. And, yep. and you know, just a whole He's bubble a of trades, yeah, just a, just a whole bubble of of of, of, of talent, bro. Yeah, straight up. You know what I'm saying? And to be from here, from really primarily right in the area where we're from, right. uh, should motivate everybody. Mm -hmm. Nah, straight up. If he came from here and he can do it, you know, you know somebody else who's on the way. Uh, B Simone, she's yeah, yeah. super talented. Mm -hmm. You know, B Simone is extremely mm -hmm. talented. Mm -hmm. man. She's, she says she like the female Jamie Foxx, and I believe her. Wow, you know she's funny. She she can do some music. She's and then the improv thing is a art in itself, man. That's mm -hmm. that's crazy to be able to do improv comedy at some. That shit's come on. Be I, up there talk about that shit and do that shit. Think of that shit. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah. How up. could people get a hold of you, man? Ty Harris on. I know how. I, I, I know one platform. thing. God put you hey, in my -E, life. T Y E, not T Y. Yeah, T Y E Harris thirty two on all social media platforms. Man, I, like I said, I hope we did you justice. You man. know what I mean? Here at Boss Talk One Hundred One. Y'all always do. Man, Everybody we killing the game. I think we. I think we got a little something. What you think? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever truth. had any young kids come to you and be like, you know, I want to learn. I want you to teach me. Yeah, I got to go to Carter. I uh, think. Like either Monday or Wednesday, and go back and tell them, you know, the game. Teach them the game. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Teach me the game, ghost. So I See, go that's a way of giving back. I love yeah, that. So. You always have to give back. Do you think, I mean, putting God first, is that important? Without a doubt, indubitably, straight up. That's my, come on, man, without God, it's, just, it's a disservice for me to not do this shit, and he done gave me all this talent. Talent. Like, come on, man. man. I got to. Where do you see yourself in the next two years? <sighs> LA, oh, LA kicking back, relaxing hey. on my on my or, 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 or Miami, South Beach on my yacht. South Beach. And what studio. is it going to take for you to get there? With my little studio, I need my Grammy, man. Come on, give me my Grammy. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't playing. wait. Cause I get Grammy. to say, nigga, I interviewed him on Boss Talk, yeah. man. I knew that dude. Yeah, you know me, what I'm saying? Give me my Grammy, man. It's it's about that time. I'm done playing with these niggas, man. Come on. I'm so happy, man. And so, what's dropping next? Uh, we got asphalt and concrete coming very, very soon on the top of, at the top of 2022. Uh, so Ty, man, uh, help me to find me. You know what I'm saying? When you get the next song, <laughs> you know, let me stand by the piano. Hey, come you on. Know what <laughs> Let me, I, so how do you like you like John Legend because he played that thing too. I, 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 like, I, like, I like I like John Legend, man. I, I love Would you ever work that ain't him? your that ain't your Stilo though. That ain't your that ain't you uh, you different. Uh, yeah. What was that? What was that movie with uh? I think what was it a Steve Harvey movie? He that they kept playing that song in. Uh, 
I don't wanna brag. I'll be. Oh man, that yeah, that was that was uh, I that forgot was what, I forgot that what was movie. Tyler Perry. Yeah, was it Tyler Perry? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, man, yeah, They yeah. played that goddamn song the through that whole movie. Had. I forget which movie it was. I, was. I don't even know what movie, but I know that song was in it. It was the no. whole goddamn movie. <laughs> like I, at one point, I was annoyed, but I want that kind of money. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Play the song so, through the whole movie. That's the soundtrack. Would you ever do work with him? Yes. Yes. Yo, who, who would you like to work with? Uh, uh, that one of your biggest thing, like if I could work with this person, I feel like, dang, I done it. I want to work with Paul McCartney. Boy, that's mm. dope right there, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, he's still living. That'd be amazing. Is that Brian Wilson Have you ever living? reached out to him? To Paul McCartney? Yeah. I want to work with Andre 3000. I love. I don't, oh, know, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I love you don't think I can work? Andre, Andre be tripping, man. He ain't no. trying to do music right now like he, that. He, He'll do a single with you. That's cool. But he ain't gonna come on no videos. He ain't good. Some he, he's somewhere doing something he want to do, and I can respect that's, it. That's like my Gemini. That's saying? my Gemini uncle, man. We you know. I, I do one with Andre. I love it. I love to hear it, but yeah, I'm just knowing it might not happen. But at the same time, I love to hear it. But at the end of the day, but have you reached out to Paul McCartney? No, I have not reached out to Paul McCartney. You should. I mean, on the DMs, yeah. but you, come on now. You did? <laughs> yeah, straight up. So you got rejected like you did me. No. <laughs> that's why I see, see, it hey, come back on. Come bitch. Come back on. I didn't reject you. You see, you see, that's how lies get out. <laughs> see, they create the narrative <laughs> to make you look yeah, like you see. You see what I'm saying? No, nah, he just did see it, guys. Uh, but, you know, shout out to Ro and uh, a couple more people. Zay Tobin, who hit me back automatically. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Don't flex something like that, boy. <laughs> Some Ooh. people don't check that, you know, on your DMs, you have that other section the, where... Uh, the request the section. The request Come section. On, people man. don't check that section. There's a lot you of your so request much. section. Come on, man. <laughs> what's, the craziest, what's the craziest message you've ever received oh, in God. that request section? I plead the fifth. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Say, I ain't going to do y'all like that. No. Nah. You don't have to call no names now. No, I ain't going to tell no. Y'all, babe, my, my messages is a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, know. you gotta get into acting, man. I promise, man. The expressions and stuff, just like when we did uh, Cheating Ass Myra, and it's just the expression. He in a movie now with Ti. Mm. I wasn't. I don't even know the name of that movie. But I, I gotta hit, hit him up and find out. That's but dope. it's dope, man. You, you gotta do it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do, man. You I'm can do it. I, I think we muscles. need that in Dallas. Actually, we need. Some, look at Country Wayne. But, he killing the game that, right you see now. That with too. Dallas, man, we gotta be like a thousand times better. At everything. At everything. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. got to really just, we just need a platform. Hey, and we're going to get a platform. I believe it's coming. But we man. have to come together to do that because then a lot of people talk about Atlanta because Atlanta folks are, they're together. They have, they have a structure. They, they have, have a, a structure. We're getting there. I think I think every city has hate and ass shit that go on yeah. in, 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 on, on the inside of it, but they just, when you got the structure and the platform, makes it easier mm. and, and all I, I think you'd be alright if you don't try to be like Atlanta if you don't try to be like Louisiana if exactly. you don't try because you got something different yeah, we, going we on here Louisiana got some Florida got some mm -hmm. uh, uh, hey Houston got some and Dallas got some Straight we up. need to figure out what that something is and get involved in that something in a way that we can only do it here in Dallas yeah we and just un unapologetically put our own culture in everybody's face and yeah. you, even the people from this motherfucker that's like that's true like cowboy haters like how you gonna be from this motherfucker not like the cowboy Cowboys. Say, man, there's a yep. bunch of people be hating. My son, one of them, he's sitting right back there behind yep, you. That yep, nigga is yep. not going to do yep, nothing but go on. to Philadelphia. For some reason, every time we watch the game, he got to say something some more. Come on, see, come on. Check it, man. Come on now. Hey, man, we love you. Yeah, by, hey, listen, Jesus. listen. I'm going to be honest with you. By far, you you one of the dopest interviews I done done. I can tell you that right now. I appreciate you. So, Ty Harris, we love you, bro. I love y'all. And we appreciate you for coming on Boss Talk 101, man. Sure. This has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.